Okay, next we will look at assessment and treatment of the adductor muscle group. We've got the short muscle, which is the pectineus, and then next it will be brevis, then we've got the longus, magnus will come down to the adductor tubercle, and then gracilla goes all the way down to what we call the pes and serinus. One way of assessing the length of the adductors can be if you held the lower limb and you lightly palpate the belly of the adductors and slowly abduct the leg, when you feel a bind, the bind is about there, there's the bind, and if you're looking at the angle, if the angle is around 45 degrees, then it's going to be classified as normal. If it's less than 45 degrees, then they might be classified as short and tight. However, if you bend the knee, what we do now, we take out the gracilis and also the semi-tendinosis or semi-membranosis, and then if we are able to abduct further, which we can, then more than likely the short adductors are fine, but it might well be the long adductor or the hamstrings were tight. If we are wanting to lengthen the short adductors, I do find the easiest way these days is to step in, let the knee just stabilize itself onto your hip area, stabilize the opposite anterior superior, and then from here you can get your patient to slowly squeeze against me, please. So the patient is actively contracting the short adductors for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds, relax, please. And then breathe in. And then on the out breath, I'm slowly going to abduct until we get to a point of bind and hold that position. I'm not taking the weight of the leg, it's supported against my leg, but I normally will stabilize the opposite pelvis here. Take a breath in again and slowly squeeze against me. So a patient does all the work. So using the adductors, the short adductors. 10 seconds, relax, take a breath in. And then on the out breath, I can then slowly take to the new bind. Once you feel you've achieved what you want to achieve in terms of length, then we would hold for 25 seconds. The body remembers the new position. If we want to lengthen the long adductor with the hamstring, one way is to take the leg out until we feel a bind. Okay, we can actually feel the hamstring or the, the longer adductor. From this position, stabilize the opposite pelvis. The weight of a leg is drifting a little bit onto my hip. Slowly push your leg this way. So the patient pushes against you for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, relax. Breathe in, and on the out breath I can stabilize and I can slowly take the leg out until we find a bind. Ease off a little bit, breathe in. Off you go again, push this way. So she's pushing 20% effort for approximately 10 seconds. Relax, breathe in. And as she breathes out again, I'm going to lengthen further and hold for 25 seconds. I'll reduce the time just for the demonstration. And there you have an assessment and treatment of the adductor short muscle and adductor long muscle.